Hello everyone, welcome back to Papli. So in today's video, we are going to understand how to share Pinterest pin to Discord channel automatically. So here, let's assume that I have a bakery and I maintain a Pinterest board as well. So here, my objective is that whenever I'm going to create a new pin on my Pinterest board, then I want to share the pin automatically on my Discord channel with my team members. So here to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications for which I will be using this amazing integration and automation software that is Paply Connect. So here my trigger application will be Pinterest and my action application will be Discord. So if you want to learn more about this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we are going to understand how to share Pinterest pin to Discord channel automatically. So here let's assume that I have a bakery and I maintain a Pinterest board for my bakery. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to create a new pin, then automatically that should be shared with my team members on Discord channel. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications for which I will be using this amazing integration and automation software that is Pably Connect. So this here is the homepage of Pably Connect. And now if you don't have an existing account, you can simply go to the sign up for free button and you will get 100 tasks for free every month. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. Now this here is the all applications page by Pably. So here I will go to Pably Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard. And now to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as share Pinterest pin to discord channel automatically. And on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as Pinterest. So here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I have arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pably Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of your trigger application and in a workflow, you can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my use case that is to share Pinterest pin to Discord channel automatically. So here in my trigger window, I'm going to search for Pinterest as my trigger application and here it is. And now the trigger event will be new pin. So this trigger will start working whenever a new pin will be added to a board. So now moving to my action window as I want to share the same on my discord channel. So here discord will be my action application. And the action event will be to send channel message. So here you can see that as I've selected my action application and the action event along with my trigger application and the trigger event. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to create a new pin on Pinterest on my bakery's board. So then I want to share the same on my discord channel with my team members. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications. So by using Pably Connect, I'm going to do that. So here moving to my trigger window. Firstly, I need to establish a connection between Pinterest and Pably Connect. So to do that, I'm simply going to click on connect. And now to add a new connection, I've already logged into my Pinterest account in one of the tabs. So here I'm going to click on connect. So here I'm going to click on give access as this is a secure access. And you can see that the authorization is successful. So here you can see that Pinterest and Pably Connect is successfully connected. So now moving to board. Here I need to select a Pinterest board which I have created for my bakery. So here in Pably Connect from this drop down, I'm going to select the board as Coles Bakery. Before clicking on save and send test request, I'm going to create a new pin on my Pinterest board. So our trigger application is a polling based application. So this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes. So now I'm going to create a new pin. So taking you to my Pinterest account. So this here is my board that is by the name of Coles Bakery. And over here, I'm going to create a new pin. So here I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to click on create pin. And now here I'm going to select an image. So from my desktop, I'm going to select this as the image. And now here the title for the cake will be happy birthday cake design and the description will be perfect cake for birthday. So now once I've mentioned the title description along with the image, 
So here I'm going to click on publish. So here you can see that your pin has been published. I'm going to click on view. So this here is the pin which I have just created on the board that I've created for my bakery by the name of Coles Bakery. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to Pabli Connect. So as I've mentioned that this trigger is a polling based trigger. So this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes. So now I'm going to click on save and send test request to see the response that I have received. So here you can see that I have received a response. This here is the title that was happy birthday cake design. And this here is the image URL. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to open this in, in a new tab. And here is the image. So I'm going to close this going back to Pabli Connect. And now here you can see that I have received some other details as well. So this here is the description that was perfect cake for birthday. So here that means the most recent pin which I have just created on my Pinterest board is successfully captured over here in Pabli Connect. So the first objective of this automation is set up. That means now whenever there will be a new pin in Pinterest, then automatically that pin will get captured over here in Pabli Connect. So as this trigger is a polling based one, so this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes. So now moving to my action window, as I want to send this same pin on my Discord channel as well. So to do that here, I'm going to click on connect. So now I need to mention the webhook URL from my Discord account. So I'm going to take you to my Discord account. And here, this is the channel that I've created by the name of Pinterest Pins. So now in order to establish a connection, I will go to edit channel. And here I will go to integrations. And in integrations, I will go to create webhook. So here you can see that it says you have no webhooks. So here I'm going to click on this create webhook button to create a new webhook. So here, this is the new webhook. I'm going to copy the webhook URL. The name is by the bot. The channel is Pinterest pins. So here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to paste the same. So now after doing this, now I need to mention the message which I want to send in my Discord channel. So here the message will contain the title and then it is going to contain the description. And after description, I want to mention the image. So here I've mentioned these three things in the message. So here to mention all of the details of title, description and image, I'm going to use this method of mapping. So basically mapping is to insert the data from previous steps. So as I've received a response from Pinterest, so here I'm going to map it. I have mapped the title. Now I'm going to map the description. So here I'm going to search for description and here it is, I've mapped it. So now moving to image again from the response received, I'm going to map the image. So once I've mapped all of the details here, if you want to mention the bot name or bot icon, you can do that. But as of now, I don't want to mention the bot name or the bot icon. So here you can see that as I've mapped the details. So this method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response with new data, so that data can be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information would have become static which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. So now here I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that I have received a response and this here is a positive one. So now I'm going to take you to my Discord channel. And here you can see that in this new message, there is the title, description and the image. So that means the pin which I have just created on Pinterest is successfully shared over here in my Discord channel. So this integration and automation is a successful one. That means now whenever a new pin will be created on Pinterest, then automatically that will be shared on my Discord channel automatically. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.